Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Man, it's been a good day. It's been an awesome day. Of course, I'm sorry. Every day is a good day, isn't it? You know what? I just, I was thinking about Acts chapter 19. Paul made some major inroads coming down the mountains to Ephesus. Man, he met some guys, some disciples there who had had the baptism of John the Baptist, you know, baptism unto his forgiveness of sins and so on and so forth. Well, he asked them, have you experienced the baptism of the Holy Spirit? They had not. So what happened was, is he laid hands on them, prayed for them, and they received. How about that? Now they had the fullness of the Spirit and could go into full, full work for the Lord. Man. Well, you know, it says now that he met, he went on and it says God did powerful things through Paul, quite out of the ordinary. And the word got around that people started taking pieces of clothing and handkerchiefs and scarves and the like that had touched Paul's skin. And, and then they would take those to the sick. And by placing those articles of clothing that had touched Paul because of the anointing of God on him, the anointing has weight. Ah, it transfers to cloth. How about that? That is so amazing. Anyway, they would be placed on the sick and they would be healed. Yeah. Hey, this has happened throughout the eons ever since. So now some itinerant Jew exorcists who happened to be in town tried their hand at that, assumed as they assumed was Paul's game. They looked at it as a game. Well, you may have heard about the seven sons of Sceva. Well, these guys were the son of a high priest and they began to do all of the same thing Paul was doing. And, and put it like this. It's this, the seven sons of a certain Sceva, a Jewish high priest, were trying to do this on a man. When the evil spirit talked back, says, I know Jesus, and I've heard of Paul, but who are you? And then the possessed man went berserk, jumped the exorcist, beat them up, tore off their clothes, naked and bloody. They got away barely, as best they could. That was known all over Ephesus among both Jews and Greeks. The realization spread God was in this and behind this. Curiosity about Paul developed into reverence for the Master Jesus. Many of those who thus believed stepped out into the light and made a clean break with their secret sorceries. All kinds of witches and warlocks came out of the woodwork with their books and spells and incantations and made a huge bonfire of them. Someone estimated their worth at 50,000 silver coins. In such ways, it became evident that the word of the Master, Jesus, was now sovereign and prevailed in Ephesus. Can we say hallelujah? Let me tell you what. There is power in the name of Jesus. And let me tell you, when you and I come in alignment with the word, you and I are empowered by the Holy Spirit. I don't expect everybody to understand that. But faith is that thing we operate in, the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things unseen. Let's begin to walk in it, begin to believe it, begin to read the word, develop your faith. I'll see you again at the point of time.